Hey everyone, and welcome to week 30 of Operation Lose a Baby Hippo. I had a fantastic weight loss this week, and I lost a total of 3.09 pounds which puts my total weight lost in the seven months that I've been on profile to 74.07 pounds, and I am down to 163.14. I remember I started out at 237, and I'm already down to 163. Like that is crazy to me that I have lost as much weight as I have without really you know, depriving myself of food or, you know, having any really bad experiences with this plan so far. So the seven month mark really snuck up on me because I wasn't thinking that I had been on the plan for as long as I have. And then I realized that the 23rd is coming up soon and it was time for me to do measurements. So since last month, I have lost a quarter of an inch in my neck. I have lost an inch and a half in my chest. I have lost an inch and a quarter in my waist. I have lost four and a quarter inches in my hips for a total of seven and a quarter inches gone since last month, which means that in seven months, I have lost 40.75 inches from my body. And it's no wonder that my clothes are getting as loose and as big as they are. In fact, the shirt that I'm wearing today is one of the shirts that I bought for my vacation in September that was too tight, I couldn't wear it. And now it's almost getting to the point where it's a little too big. So I am super excited that I am starting to really see the difference in my clothes. I mean, I kind of have been for the last like month and a half, but you know, the other day I put on a pair of pants and I was like, I need to buy new pants because I don't really have any pants that fit me anymore. Like if I didn't wear leggings every day to work, I would have to rebuy an entire new wardrobe. Thankfully, leggings tend to shrink with you. So that has been a lifesaver for me. The one thing that I have been craving lately has been pizza. And I know that Profile does do a three different types of pizza meal replacements, but since I do all of my coaching sessions over the phone and I don't live anywhere near a profile location and that stuff needs to be refrigerated, I really don't have a way of getting that unless I make a special trip all the way down to a store and I just didn't feel like doing that to buy one pizza. But I did discover um, the cauliflower cauliflower pizza crust that are available on Amazon and I'll put a link to that down in the description. And they're basically cauliflower pizza crust, which I have tried in the past and have never been able to make work. I've always thought that they were a little too wet or it just wasn't the right texture, it wasn't what I was looking for. But I found these pizza crusts because somebody had posted them on the profile member group and I decided that I wanted to try them because if I could find a way to have you know, more of a legitimate pizza feeling or a pizza product, then I could kind of satisfy that craving without cheating. And they are delicious. I got two pizza crusts, they come in a package with two of them, and I already have eaten one whole pizza out of it. It was so good. It honestly was the closest thing that I have got into real pizza. And normally I was making like the spinach crust and I was making like cheese bread out of that. But I honestly think that this cauliflower pizza crust are honestly almost a little bit better than the spinach crust. And I love the spinach crust pizzas. And it was really nice because it wasn't a lot of work. It's all stuff that is in the plan because it's made out of cauliflower, mozzarella cheese, and eggs. So I just counted it as a little bit of protein and some fat and did it like that. And I made sure that I only ate half the pizza and they're like a nine inch crust. So that was about four small pieces, which was good for me. But I was really, really impressed with the quality of this pizza crust. And it came super fast to my house and it definitely allowed me to kind of satisfy that pizza craving without going off plan, which I count as a major win. Also this week, I've been kind of able to exercise a little bit more than last week. Um, last week I was, you know, really taking it slow and kind of concentrating on Kona and I was doing that for the majority of this week as well. 
but I was able to kind of get a little bit more exercise in over the last three days as Kona begins to feel a lot better. It has also been a huge struggle to keep her calm and quiet, but you know, I'm glad that she is feeling better and is back to her normal self. You know, we only have about one week left with the cone, so hopefully she'll be able to get rid of that soon and everything will go back to normal and I'll be able to kind of get back into the swing of exercising. I am a little bit concerned because I lost more weight this week not exercising than I did the week before when I was really exercising a lot. So I'm trying to like not psych myself out of exercising just because I know that even if I do kind of slow down the weight loss by adding exercise in, I will be better in the long run for it as, you know, I'll be gaining muscle and be a little bit more toned and burn more fat that way. So I'm just trying to like not get inside my own head a little bit too much here. Yeah, that's kind of been it for this week. I had a really good weight loss. I had my seven month update, which had an amazing amount of inches lost from last month. You know, everything's just kind of been rolling steady. I'm at 74 pounds gone, which means that I have to kind of start thinking about what I'm gonna do for that 80 pound gone mark. That should be in about three to four weeks. So hopefully I can come up with something really cool to treat myself with for hitting that third milestone. I can see it, it's right there, so I'm very excited about that. And really, I have a little less than 26 pounds to go until I hit my final goal. I cannot believe how far I've made it and I can't believe how much Profile has helped me. It's just been a wonderful experience so far. And speaking of that, if you guys remember that Profile is doing the $99 promotion throughout the month of January, that ends very soon. So if you guys have been thinking about joining Profile and you're not quite sure about it and you're just kind of looking into some different weight loss products, I would definitely recommend giving them a call, having an exploratory meeting with them, and getting signed up before the end of January to take advantage of the special promotion price of $99 and with the 20% off food products, which is a really, really good deal and can definitely save you a lot of money. So that is it for week 30. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Also subscribe so you can follow me along to Operation Lose a Baby Hippo. I will see you guys in week 31. Okay, so I am trying to make the sugar-free Jello gummies that everyone has been posting about on the Profile Member Group Facebook page. I already made one batch and I have to say that they were quite delicious. And my second batch is currently in the fridge. So this is a little heart-shaped mold that I got at Walmart for like $1.50. And that is half a package of sugar-free Jello and half a package of gelatin. And it makes about eight little heart-shaped gummies, which is about 30 calories and about eight grams of protein with no carbs and no fat. So a perfect little snack when you're craving candy.